going on? It's Casual Gamer Dad. I'm testing out uh, various base builds. So this is the standard pillar base from Alpha 16. And uh, I've been reading that it doesn't work very well. I tested it in a previous recording that I never posted. But um, since the new drop just came out, build 233, I thought, let's try it out. And it looks like it still fails to work. Uh, zombies get confused, but eventually they make their way in. And I'm a terrible shot, apparently. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, build a pole base and see how that goes. Alright, so let's test out the pole base and see how it works out. Uh, it looks like they come right to us, which is nice. Let's see if they beat this thing down or not. Looks like they are doing damage, so that's good. Well, let's uh, go ahead and speed this up. Let them break in. And, uh... <laughs> After they break in, we'll, uh... Alright, so one block is all they really need to break break in. That's not good enough. So I think it's time to just move on to uh, another base build. So we'll see how that looks. So this base I made with uh, the pole centered in the middle, going across horizontally, and then regular poles that are up in the corners of the block uh, turn horizontally. And did something strange where the zombies tend to go to the corners. For some reason their pathfinding says that's the most vulnerable point, we're going to go attack that. So they went and took out every corner, which I thought was strange. So once they get through all four corners, we'll go ahead and uh, see what they do next. All right, so they broke in, and now they're confused. Interesting. Uh, okay, the two of them are attacking, two of them are just lost in the sauce. All right, so they all kind of start attacking here. I guess there's some uh, latency in their pathfinding. Um... And then I'm going to help them break out through one of these and just see um, see if they go ahead and make it through. Just to make sure that this setup works. 
Okay, it does. They need to break out two blocks. So that's good. Um, and they're starting to break through the bottom one. So let's go ahead and just finish them off. Go ahead and uh, repair this. Uh, try something different here in the corners. Um, though it doesn't look structurally sound because of you know the empty space there between the middle pillars. Let's just give this a go and see how that works. Um, and as you can see, I forgot to repair, so I, I left it in as an interesting point. If you have one empty block where they say, "Hey, I only need to break one block to get in," they're going to come and take it. So I went ahead and uh, fully repaired this. All right, check every block. I don't want to ruin the, uh, the test at all. Let's spawn them back in. Alright, so looks like they're gonna attack like normal. And we're not really taking advantage of the pathfinding or anything here, so that's good. Let's see how it works against crawlers though. Um, just to see. I mean, these crawlers aren't really a problem during Horde Night anymore. Because you're not blowing off legs like you used to be in Alpha 16. Okay, looks like they cannot make it through and just crawl under so let's go ahead and just that guy's doing something weird so let's go ahead and just finish them off let's try out a spider zombie let's see how that goes and they also cannot get in so that's good let's see what he does though So he's taking swings at me. Well, it looks like he's not doing any damage, which seems to be pretty unfortunate. Um, so it kind of feels like an exploit against spiders. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'll actually use this or not. I think it's still relatively fair. Uh, yeah, he's, he's making a noise like he's hitting something, but it doesn't appear that he's doing any damage to any of the blocks. Um, so that might just be an issue with the, with the pathfinding. Um, yeah. So... Let's go ahead and finish them off, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if there's any other base builds you want me to try.